what is going on everybody hello and welcome to today's video for those of you who don't know who i am my name is joey white and i'm a college basketball player at saint mary's university of minnesota and so for today we've got a game day vlog coming up it is currently november 22nd today uh, we've got a conference game a big conference game today against a team called McAllister university uh, currently they're undefeated right now so it's a big game for us, potential to knock off one of the top teams in the conference and, uh, you know, climb up the, the rankings a little bit. So, yeah, it's a big game for us. Hopefully we can take them down. It's currently 3.15 right now. Uh, I've got to be to the facility, to our locker room by 4, uh, well, 4.30, but I'm going to try to get there a little bit before 4 and uh, get ready because we have walk around, walk through, shoot around, whatever you want to call it before our game to get ready, uh, go over some last minute game plan, scouting report kind of stuff, and then uh, have dinner quick before the game at tip, tip off at seven o'clock. So yeah, got a big one today, super excited. I uh, hope we can get a win. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's, let's get on into this one. So as it stands today, our team is currently one and two on the year. Uh, we won our first game of the season, and then uh, we lost the last two. Both games were close games. We could have won at the end, but uh, you know things just didn't go our way. We we didn't pull out the win at the end, but you know a little bit of adversity is okay. Um, you know tonight's gonna be a big one for us. Hopefully we can get a big bounce back win against a team that's undefeated. So um, you know unfortunately we haven't had a whole lot of practices to prepare for the team we're playing tonight, but. Um, we had a pretty good practice yesterday. Uh, we went through a lot of scout stuff and and had a pretty good pretty good uh, run at it. So hopefully we're pr pretty prepared, uh, pretty well ready to go for the game tonight. But uh, no guys are are definitely locked in. Uh, we're hoping to uh, you know get a big one tonight. So if we win tonight, puts us to two and two, back to 500, and then uh, hopefully we can string together a few wins uh, in the next couple games and, and get ourselves back in back in a position that we're happy with. So um, yeah, tonight's a big one. Uh, pretty much done with everything that I needed to get done today. So um, it's just about time to get headed on over to uh, the basketball facility in our, in our locker room. So um, yeah, excited for this one. So let's go ahead and let's head on over to the facility. person in the locker room today um, but should be a fun one tonight it'll be interesting because today is like the first day of uh, Thanksgiving break for us so um, there probably won't be like any students in the crowd today so probably won't be a whole lot of energy tonight so it'll be important that uh, we make our own energy on the bench today so yeah I'm gonna get my practice gear on get ready for a shoot around and head up to the gym get some shots up so um, yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. for tonight's MIAC matchup between McAllister and St. Mary. Should have a good one here tonight. He gets it inside, double team. He's gonna see a lot of double teams this season. 
He's got the basketball now. Nice bounce pass to Bruce Lockwood Jr. Pump fakes, goes up strong off the glass and gets the first two points of this game for St. Mary. The lob down low to Badu Ba. Anthony is on him. He goes up with the left hand, and that is Ba scoring. Instead, shot clock is down to seven. Inside, it's Ba twisting, turning off the glass and in. So Anthony's going to try to fill that role here tonight. Brayton Beisman, little fadeaway jumper by Beisman is good. He can shoot to Shannon to Lockwood Jr. The bounce pass from Beisman and Jr. Lockwood Jr. able to finish things off. That's exactly what we have as we're about five minutes in now. Lockwood Jr. to Beisman. He's been hot so far and he stays hot. A three-pointer for Brayton Beisman. Here's Raheem Anthony. They have held him scoreless so far. They're double teaming him when he gets the ball. Beisman shoots from the outside and Beisman Three for three now from the field, his second three-pointer. will team Anthony if Beisman and others keep shooting like they have been. Here's a fadeaway jumper off the glass and good for Kobe Gold, the sophomore from Denver, Colorado. Talked about Brayton Beisman coming in, uh, shooting about 44% from three-point range, and he is still hot, Brayton Beisman. Here's Sawyer, he's averaging his Jabari in double figures. Cardinals with three players in double figures. It's Raheem Anthony, Brayton inside to Anthony, goes up strong, and there's the first two points of the game for the Cardinals' leading score. There's Bob missing inside, wanted a foul, didn't get one. Now they go to Raheem Anthony in the lane, puts it up, and good, good transition there for St. Mary's. He'll bring it across the timeline. Raheem gets a good screen by Falls, puts up the floater from the free throw line, and Anthony, who didn't score for the first 10 minutes of the Cardinals now, with an eight point lead, 25-17, make that a five point lead, as drilling the three pointer is Noah Shannon. Defender falls down for the Cardinals, recovers though, gold with the basketball. Kicks it out, three-pointer is good again. Beisman has uh, 10 points, leads St. Mary's in scoring. Beisman will shoot this time, well defended, but Beisman, even though it's been a while since he shot. Ziegler inside to Mallory, bounce pass to Lockwood Jr., but there's that intimidating presence by Ba on the inside, which leads to a three-pointer. Can McAllister get the lead before halftime? Williams' turnaround is no good at the buzzer, and we are gonna go into the locker room the exact same way we started. Is uh, Brayton Beisman. Brayton has 13 points, shot, uh, 41% from the field as Badu Ba. Beisman, and Beisman continues his hot score. They're tied at 35 Up at McAllister. Three-pointer good by Kobe Gold. Again, had to save it from going out of bounds. Cameron Mallory to Ziegler. Three-pointer, you bet. Owen oh, Ziegler. Andre. Now Williams all the way in off the glass and in. Kawagbo down to Raheem Anthony's layup is good. Good transition there by the Cardinals. And St. Mary's two of three. Inside it goes and the little left-handed shot. Scott's their largest lead, 49-39. There's Cameron Mallory though. Cross-court pass. Inside it goes to Ba, looks to get rid of it, does so. Williams, deep three, and he drills the Callister. Plenty of time left here in the second half. Raheem Anthony, that one's not gonna get any easier as the defender fell down. We are about halfway through this second half. Anthony misses the shot. Frechette though picks it up, the little floater goes in. We are with it to Anthony. The defender on him is Wentz. Gets it to Frechette, jumper is good, and it's a four point game. Here's Cameron Mallory driving, going hard to the basket off the glass, good, attack it. Three as well for McAllister as Shannon has 16, Ba 11, and Williams with 10. But every possession now matters. Ziegler for three, yes, Owen Ziegler, his first made three pointer tonight. 
with the basketball. Here's Gold off the dribble. He drills the three. Uh, their next game, also next Wednesday, will be a non-conference game as Raheem Anthony hits. Non-conference leading St. Mary 66 to 53. Beisman drills a three. Cardinals going for the steal. They get it. Frechette with the steal. Frechette's going to take it all the way. He gets it off the glass and in is fouled. A three-point opportunity. Here's Shannon with the ball. Goes baseline to Williams. Williams cannot hit, but Ba is there with a huge rebound put back. The missed free throw. The Cardinals need to hurry now. Down six with 20 seconds to go. Anthony. Scores quickly in a timeout by Joe Fano of the Cardinals. Race down the court with it. Got 15 seconds to go. Anthony gets the layup and a foul. A reach in foul. They count the basket. Let's see what they do here. They're going to run the baseline. They throw it deep. It's tipped. And the horn's going to sound before Anthony can get the shot off. And so McAllister hangs on for an exciting one point victory 77 to 76. All right, you guys, so I totally forgot to film an outro for this video again, uh, just like the last video. But anyways, um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, as you guys know, we did uh, we did lose this last game. Uh, it was a tough one. Um, you know, we battled hard. We came back at the end. Ended up only losing by one point. Uh, barely losing. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a tough game. But I was proud of the way that our our team fought and battled. Uh, came back down from like 15 or something, and then brought it back to one. So um, barely lost at the end, but. It was a good game. Um, hopefully it's something that we can continue to learn from and uh, and move forward for the rest of the season. But yeah, anyways, this is where I'm gonna wrap up this video. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you way more than you possibly know. If you haven't yet, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps out way more than you possibly think. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely stay tuned. I'll be trying to pump out a lot more videos now, much more regularly. So definitely stay tuned, and uh, I appreciate you all way more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one.